fifth reading is taken from St. John's Gospel, chapter 19, beginning at verse 28. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I'm thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. Here ends the reading.
I'm thirsty. Jesus was exhausted. Not only was he undergoing one of the cruelest ways of execution that's been known, drawn out over hours, sometimes even go over days. He was exhausted by bearing the weight of our sin, the darkness of the clouds, the emotional and spiritual exhaustion of being cut off from the Father whose love he'd always known. He was thirsty. At the same time, John tells us that Jesus was conscious that he was fulfilling the scripture by what was happening to him. And so if the prophecy that he would thirst and be given some wine to drink was part of the, of the plan, he would play his role. John, more than the other evangelists, reminds us that Jesus is in control of what's happening. That it's by his choice, his willing acceptance, that he is there. It's by his choice that he's there for us. Because he knows that he has a part to play in our forgiveness. A part to play in bringing in the kingdom of God on earth that no one else can do. And he will play his part. But yes, he is thirsty. He takes the drink. In this next time of quiet, let's give thanks to God that his plan of salvation was one that had begun from the very beginning. That throughout the Old Testament, he had been preparing the way through all his acts of mercy and of love for this day. The day when prophecy will be fulfilled. The day when forgiveness will be bought for us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you thirsted on the cross. Grant us grace to care for those who suffer at this time. We thank you that through your life, your death, your resurrection, the plan that you had made, God, from the beginning has come to its fulfillment and the doors of the kingdom are opening. Amen.